Hi everyone, my name is Caitlin from Sip and Dip Australia and today I'm going to be walking you through this virtual Sip and Dip Learn to Paint class. Please keep in mind this video will obviously go a lot quicker than what it will take for you to paint this piece, so just pause and restart wherever you need to. So we're going to get started with our background. First colour we're going to start with is red and we're going to start with this in the top part of your canvas. Once you have made your way down probably about 10 centimeters, you don't need to wash your brush and we're going to do the same thing with some orange. To blend those two colors together, we wanna be using those long back and forth motions across where they meet. Once we're happy with that orange, we're gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing with our yellow. Now, I know I'm starting to sound like a bit of a broken record, but once we're happy with that yellow, we're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing again with our white. If you're having any troubles blending, just add a little bit of water to your brush. Once we are happy with that beautiful blended background, we're going to go ahead and just add some black into that last little section that we've got left. Remembering that the ground isn't perfectly flat, so we don't want that line to be absolutely perfectly straight. Once we have our ground filled in, we're going to start with our tree trunk. So we want to start this a couple of centimetres off the right hand side, and then the tree trunk is going to kind of go off our canvas about halfway up. So as you can see here, one of those tree trunks is going to go off the canvas, while the tree trunks coming to the left are going to go all the way over off the left of the canvas. When we are happy with how that tree is looking, we're going to go ahead and start the grass down the bottom. So for this, there's a couple of different techniques you can use. You can start by using your brush really lightly at the top and then pushing down a little bit heavier as you bring that grass stroke down. Or the opposite, you can start by pushing a little bit harder and then flicking your paintbrush up as you come to the top of the grass stroke. Now we're going to keep doing this until we have filled in this whole area of the grass and then you are on to your final two steps of this piece. First one being our swing. So we want to start with two vertical lines coming down as they are the ropes of the swing. They don't want to be perfect, we don't want them to be perfect straight lines, just kind of draping your brush down the canvas. And then we want to meet up the bottom of these two lines with the seat of our swing, which will be a little bit thicker and a bit more straighter than how we've done these other two lines. To finish up our canvas, we just want to add these little tassels at the bottom of the swing where the rope would be coming through. And then we want to add a similar thing at the top of the swing where the rope would be tied around the tree trunk. And now the very final step to this piece are our little blue flowers. So you want to get some blue on your paintbrush after washing it very thoroughly from that black. And we're just going to add some dabs of blue along almost all of the tops of our grass. We don't want to do every single top because then we're going to have too many flowers and they're going to start to just merge into a big bunch of blue dots basically. An easier way to get around this is to make sure that we have some blue spots at the top of our grass and then the odd one that's a little bit lower so that we have some shorter flowers and some longer flowers. And once you're happy with your flowers, you are done. Thank you so much for joining me for today's virtual art class. Don't forget to post your creations on our social media. We love seeing what you guys have come up with and I will hopefully see you next time. Bye.